Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different Kickstarter project, GameFound Project, today, and give you my honest thoughts on how that's being ran. And today I'm very excited to be checking out Too Many Bones Unbreakable from Chip Theory Games, the final standalone expansion to the acclaimed Dice Builder RPG Epic. So, I'd like to know the player count, I'd like to know the time length, I'm assuming it's probably 1 to 4, despite the fact I've never actually played Too Many Bones, I just, I, I make an assumption like that, uh, because I think that's what it is, and one thing is, I'm on GameFound right now, and GameFound is just getting weirder and weirder, because it used to just be huge, big, box off it marquee projects, like Lords of Ragnarok, which is gonna make a million dollars, and Too Many Bones, but now they've kinda opened up the floodgates to more people, and we're starting to see projects, you know, like this one right here. This one might even fun. Um, this uh, Japan Anime Games one. And it's just, it's getting into a weirder location. Still not much competition going on, but interesting to note. So Too Many Bones Unbreakable, 17 days left. Sorry, raised $872,000. Fantasy strategy, dice game, RPG, humor. I'd like to know the player count, the time link, all that good stuff. But whatevs. As always, when I'm going to three videos, I'm thinking, uh, the video, I'm thinking three things. Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? And one thing I will say interesting that they did right here is on the main image, it was to get me to click on Too Many Bones on Breakable. But now that I'm already here, they're like, hey, check out this other thing that's our company that's coming up in two days. Interesting. All right, let's get on this video. So right there, uh, immediately the can you do it is yes, because this is, as I'm finding out, something that's in this series. This is the climactic conclusion. It would be like if Lord of the Rings 3 just didn't happen. Like, yeah, we just didn't do it. Uh, so can you do it? I feel comfortable. I, I feel very comfortable. Not to mention it's chip theory games. And not to mention GameFound makes it a little bit more difficult to find out the past track record of the companies. Because on Kickstarter, most of their projects are on Kickstarter but can you do it is a check mark chip theory games they've mentioned this is the third and you know an acclaimed series i'm in <clears throat> well i feel comfortable at least book final standalone expansion for too many bones nebulous grint is dead but that wasn't the end of our problems the evil gearlock's absence has created new trouble in the break a massive cavern system that exists below the land of Daylor. Further investigation is needed. <sighs> Point me to some baddies. You can't get ingredients like this at the Tipsy Troll. Whoa, big guy. Why waste a good charge? Until you're ready. And this is something I always mention. Someone pointed out it's the final standalone, but is that the final expansion? Interesting. That's a good question. One thing I, I, I'm interested, I love that they're doing here is they're putting in the subtitles. I don't think they need the subtitles necessarily, but I just think that that should be the industry standard. I think it's just great to have that there, or at least the option to do it. Plus, I got dibs on frying magma toad. Ha! You're both late to this attraction. Now, yeah. now, here's the one thing. I don't like this video right now as someone who has not played the original game. You're not drawing me in in any way, shape, or form, aside from like, hey, this is this is a really popular series and it's awesome and you're going to love it because, you know, other people loved it already. But as someone who knows nothing about this game, I'm like, okay, you've talked about theme for a minute now. Is there anything, can, can I see what the game looks like? Can I see what the board looks like? I see some minor artwork here. This feels completely devoted to the pre-existing fan. And I think there's a very thin line to walk when you do a project like this where you try to balance appealing to new people and appealing to pre-existing fans and i'm sure if you're a pre-existing fan you're like oh yeah this is great but if you're not i'm like okay this, this doesn't tell me anything about anything your butt it's in the head she's sciencey i think techie we must know. delve deeper but with every step these caverns get more dangerous shadows are moving and we feel eyes on our backs at every turn we must keep going the sounds of battle ring out up ahead we're getting close. Save it! The bridge! On it! Let's rewind a few seconds. Oh! Okay. Cool. Now that, I see, oh, this is a character. He's a time traveler. He can... That's cool. I like it. I like it. That's the first thing I've seen in this video. I'm like, oh, that looks neat. 
Stay back, foul trog knight! These little trogs are a breed. Where's the tough away. stuff? Uh, Gale? Do you have anything that can stop this? Time is of the essence. These new evils are growing stronger, fueled by some kind of power that we have not yet discovered. Left unchecked, the break could once again change the face of Daylor forever. Hold up, stop the wind. Ash in my eye. Ash in my eye. That's it, we're doing that over. Taking us back to round two before my eyes were burnt out of my skull. <laughs> okay. Humor landed there, like that, and then, oh, it just said, Faces Black is a YouTube video. Um, <clears throat> aside from that little humor at the end, I was not a fan of that video at all. Like, as someone who knows nothing at all about this game, I'm in no way, shape, or form convinced. So, hopefully, the Kickstarter story kind of does it. Now, also, please, in the comments below, if you're a fan of this series, what did you think about that video? Because I'm coming into it from that perspective. And even as a fan of, like, the original series, I don't know. I, I can't put myself in those shoes, so please help me out there. So one thing they do is they have the stretch goals right here, which the next stretch goal to unlock is bat legs and performance enhancing slugs. Oh, so wow, really focusing on the cards, and I love this. I love this immediately, and I hammer so many companies for doing this. Give every single component a zoom in. So I want to see nearly everything in this game, like especially for these, because there's so many Kickstarter companies. So many crowdfunding companies agreed. Felt like a weird trip. LOL. Yeah, it didn't do it for me. I mean, I'm, I'm interested in the game. Um, but these cards right here, I can see exactly what they do. I see the artwork. I see the flavor. I see the flair. I see the flavor text. I love this. And so many companies, they would just have bat legs and performance stretch goal cards, promo cards. And it, it might be the back of the cards or something like that. So I love that. All right. So Chip Theory Games, uh, they, they're a larger company. Well, larger, at least in our hobby. Uh, let me rephrase that. I actually don't, I should not say that. They ha give me that appearance, for instance, at Origins, they were at Origins, and they had like a front and center display. Uh, and at Gen Con, I think for the last few years, they've had a really cool display, a really cool area with tons of stuff going, well, not tons of stuff, you can look at all the games set up, I don't think there was actually playing the games, and a buy section. So I just, I think they are on the come up. I think Too Many Bones, quite honestly, has just, you know, kind of been uh, a moneymaker for him. I mean, it makes sense, $898,000, and we're on day one here. So can you do it? That's pretty much what I'm getting to, is can you do it? I feel comfortable with Chip Theory Games. Uh, I can't research them as much as I like to on Kickstarter, but I still feel comfortable. So how much is it? Do I want it? Wow. So the featured pledge right here, and I love the GameFound does this. I'm also not a fan of that. It didn't show any gameplay. Yeah, I'd love to see, like, what's going on in the game. $220 down from 240 Boy, howdy. The two, so that's odd that they put that there. Like, I get it, but it's like, is that MSRP? I don't know. So let's click on this reward. What do I, what do, I do? So save $20 off MSRP plus flat rate shipping. Okay. Get all the new TMB gameplay content debuting, debuting in this campaign. So this, this is pretty... So and that this, once again, is just completely for the people who are already pre-established fans of the series and while i can see the perspective of still doing it like this because you're like those are the fans those are the people that we have to keep happy you know or else we're gonna have issues and there's some companies that don't keep those fans happy look at um look at uh, everdell you know from uh starling games game Sloot, whatever it is uh and how those everdell fans they were peeved off at the fact that the newer people we're getting like the bonuses and they were getting the treatment. And so I think there's a fine line in the middle somewhere. I think they went too far the other way, but who knows? Too many bones. So this is the, all the stuff that you're going to get. And okay. So I see that as the featured pledge level and hopefully I'll, uh, we'll get there when we get there. New to too many bones start here. So I do like that. I click on it. What is it? New to too many bones. And it takes me straight to, wow. It took me straight to where to take me to. Where am I? Nose itchy. New to too many bones. Uh, wow. Okay. So this is, and this is one of the cool things about Game Found. You can do this. So normally we'd have to go through a whole bunch of crap, where it's just like, oh, here's here's the whole backstory and all that sort of stuff. But now you can just move, take them to it immediately. I love that. But we'll get to that. Uh, too many bones unbreakable. 
So this is the expansion. I don't know the size of the box. I do love the components. Oh, and I'm, lo I'm loving how they're zooming in right here so I can see the dual layered. See that this, I believe this is a mat. I don't even think this is a board. I think that is a mat. And that's why it's so great to, yeah, these are mats. And look at that. And that's one little thing they did there. They zoomed in close enough on the components that I can see that this is, in fact, a play mat. And my heart, my heart just says, oh, I love play mats. Uh, custom friendly. Nobulus, the evil gearlock leader, is dead. But Dalor still knows no peace. A fierce war was erupted, yada, yada, but didn't the theme. What's in the box? So, 30 chips. These, and now I wish we honestly were zoomed in a little bit more. I was praising him so much for it, but I'd, I'd love to be a little bit more in there. So then we have Neoprene Matt for this character. Two chips, Trove, 10 cards, 16 dice. Battle Matt, Neoprene Matt, Neoprene Matt, Fear Lock Thing, Figment Skills, 16 dice, Tuck Box. And, and are these actually going to be stickered dice? Because they look like stickered dice from this direction. Maybe it is a stickered dice game. I don't know. Um... Uh, uh, that's going to work or maybe those are just prototype dice but those dice and that's once again is coming from someone who knows nothing at all about the game i've never played the game i'm just kind of saying what i look what it looks like to me all right seven tyrant encounters one day counter so now we're just oh and here we go uh oh wait no also inside the box all these other things that we decided we weren't going to put here which is odd uh, it's odd to me i don't i don't know i don't like this i don't think i like this format right here let me know what you think. Like, when you're showing me components, I kind of want business. I want this to be a business area. You know, the rest of the Kickstarter, the Game Found Project, I want to be filled with wit and whimsy and just be engulfed into your theme. But when I'm actually looking at the components, I don't know. I think I kind of like just like the very standard long scrolling shot. But let me know. Do you like the more thematic long shots like this? Or do you like it where it's just like, you know, you just scroll down and it's like, oh, this is all the components. Because I think part of the reason why this isn't zoomed in a little bit more is because we had to find room to put this thing, this this, this thing, or this, the, the axe. Or, you know, we got to have room to put in this big skeleton key. Because um, honestly, I'd, I'd rather see what these seven campaign cards say than see that skeleton key. You know, I'd like, I, I just, I don't know. Let me know what you do to think about that one. Meet the new gear locks. So that's just for the new expansion, which once again, let's let's try and figure this out. I didn't want, no, I'm not buying it, dang it. I wanted to, no, I know. I, wow, this is such a clean add-on system. Oh my gosh, Kickstarter. All you have to do is copy this, and then you can just go back to just printing money. All right, they just need to steal every single idea from Game Pound, implement them. So just like bust their ass for like six months. Just like, this is what we're all focusing on right now, because it sure as hell is not customer service or improving our websites or anything like that. I think they need to copy a lot of this stuff, because this is so, that's so clean. So clean right there. Uh, meet the new creators. Gale. Cool. So we're talking more about theme. What do I want? It's shipping. I know it's down at the bottom. And once again, I can't complain about that. I, I cannot complain as much with the organization because I could just look over there and say, click, and it's done. So Game Found. I love Game Found. I just, I don't like the non-competitive aspect of Game Found. I love looking at the popularity and trying to really, and honestly, you know, this is a little bit behind the curtain. I love doing Kickstarter critiques way more than Game Found critiques because there's so many other variables, especially when it comes to popularity, because everybody's trying to claw their way to the top by, you know, getting their people engaged. And I think it just leads to a funner experience on Kickstarter over Game Found, typically. I don't know. Let me know what you think about that. Uh, let's see how to play cool we're getting into the how to play videos all i want some videos or so how to play text all i want some videos here it's all good all well and good and then we have the rewards so what do i want i as a new person i want to get into this maybe i just you know maybe i just got a new job maybe i just got a raise maybe i'm just looking to spend cash right now i i don't feel convinced yet so I want to see what the price to get the all in so I can just go boy howdy and be like everybody else. So we get this, 85, 377 people. And so this is 2,288. Uh, too many bones, the base game. So 288 new people here. These are just people who are just like, I want to try out, I want to get in on this. And I'd say that's a decent chunk right there. You know, you figure by the end of this, that might be a 500 print run. That's crazy. Uh, strategist get unbreakable and a copy of every future base game chip theory crowd funds this pledge just does not include shipping see our shipping section for more details on this aggressive flat rate and oh boy howdy i love you chip theory games that 
is so cool. And in fact, I actually did this on my one and only Kickstarter game I ever made. There was like a super high pledge level <laughs> where it was like, uh, you got the game and you got whatever else fancy stuff, but then every other future game that we come out with, you get. And uh, and they have taken it and, and they perfected it, it looks like. Because 10 of that, I mean, that's 6,500 bucks right there. And if you really love how they run this project, how they communicate, I think it's just great. I think the only downside of the street teaches is you only get unbreakable. I would have this, I don't, but then it would clog up this area. But here's the thing. Here's the other thing that I want to mention right now. I love how much cleaner it is to go shopping in this reward section as opposed to Kickstarter. And it's just because of the pictures. You know, like, this is the shopping area here. I'm here to shop at this very moment, making my decision. I want the base game. I want that. This is cool, but, you know, whatever. $650. Just enough bones. Get all conventionally released playable content in the Too Many Bones lines. So this is, this is the one that I want. So this was, no, oh my god, 1100 This is the one that I want. Like, 94 people, and that's why you offer these pledge levels right here, people. This is what I'm talking about. If you don't offer these huge, super extravagant whale pledge levels, guess what? Nobody takes them. But 94 people took this. That's nearly $100,000 right there, just from the new people. And now I go back to my original point, which was, at the, that video didn't convince me as someone who what you know as the person who might sit down and spunk eleven hundred dollars to just go gung ho into all this. I don't feel like that video brought me in, and there very clearly is a market for people who want to do that. You know, ninety four people. Wow, and this this comes with everything, right? Because that's the only thing, uh, making sure that this comes with all the other con like the new content. Two, yeah, unbrokeable, standalone, good. Good, 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 good. So I love the fact that they... And then what's the difference between this one? Just enough bones. Get all conventionally released content in the Too Many Bones line. Click more info for list. And then this is get... Uh, with every single game expansion, add on an extra. Wow. So those two pledge levels right there. 150 of them. Just made boatloads of cash. Over $100,000. Over $100,000. Easy. 66 uh, times 675 that's so much i can't even do the math quickly in my head that's like 130 to 150 thousand dollars right there and that's why you do it because some people will buy it and some people have so much disposable income i can't i cannot even fathom spending 1100 dollars on one board game i can't just in my my current state in my my entire lifetime state just it blows my mind but once again i did a poll actually just a couple days ago and it was the majority of people have spent over 200 dollars on just one game by itself uh so that's that's the new so we got add-ons chip theory crossover loot promo pack too many bones 40 waves in delore so these are different uh expansions if i wanted to get in on that they keep saying flat rate shipping as well so I really want to know a little bit more about the shipping section because they keep pumping the, the like really pounding the chest on flat rate shipping. So I'm hoping they crush this shipping section. And look at this. Oh, do I just add to pledge? Oh, just done. Continue browsing. Oh, I want this one too. Continue browsing. And then oh my gosh, game found be still my beating heart. It just looks so damn clean and clear over here, especially compared to Kickstarter wow that is just <clears throat> beautiful oh my fantastic fan freaking tastic right there okay so stretch goals so we have 17 of 19 unlocked so there's only gonna be two more really i don't like that decision if that's the way it is because <clears throat> i think the more stretch goals you have obviously that you have the more people just interested in it Okay, so we got, what, what do we got? So this is a, oh, these are new tokens too. Awesome. Awesome. This five point bet, so yeah, this is great. New Domino Soldiers, this is three new chips. And this is excellent. And we're getting them every 50000 to $100,000, which for this campaign, you know, it's a micro stretch goal. Look at this, component upgrades. And they're, they're really showcasing it. It's now double thick and the DC comes in magma. Kickstarter better watch their backs. Game found coming for them. Yes, they need a couple more big companies, I think. 
Uh, and I and I also worry about what I said earlier. You know, like Japan made games. <laughs> like, are they going to come back when their game barely even funds? Now, granted, I took a look at it. It looks like it was just a throwaway little two-player game that nobody really gave a damn about. At least that's was just. And it looked like kind of like the thing where they're just testing their waters. They're like, do we want to launch something big here? Because it's a big risk. I mean, you got to realize, you know, it's a big risk going from one to the other. Because you might be like Too Many Bones, or you might be like some of the other projects that have not done, you know, Too Many Bones, like hundreds of thousands of dollar range. But then you also have to assess to yourself, like, is it, is it, I, I don't know. I'm really interested over the next few years to hear from all these different companies and see who comes back to Kickstarter. Who's like, you know what? We went to GameFound, we came back, and what does that do to GameFound? Like, what if the next chip theory games comes to kickstarter like everybody who's like you know deep into the hobby is going to be like whoa okay i see that i see that like it's, it's such an interesting dynamic like it's, it's it's you know like rival it's like wcw versus wwf in the 90s it's exciting and i think it's only going to continue to grow or AEW versus uh wwe now i know so people are gonna be like make sure you mention that i did uh bgg top 50 and now you're really selling well oh, oh so actually i want to go back I want to go back because while I don't think the video appealed to me, I will say the very first thing I see next is here. So now I'm coming at it from this perspective. Video didn't wow me, but now I'm looking at this. BGG Top 50. That's empty. Seal of Excellence. Too Many Bones Original Base Game nominee. Uh, Man vs. Meeple approved. We're seeing lots of awards here. So one to four players. Ages 13 plus, 60 to 90 minutes play. You're immediately showcasing me just how nice the components are. And once again, really reiterating, these are playmats. These are not uh, boards. And I think that matters. Like, playmats are just better. I, at least for me, I'm like, oh, and now I'm starting to see these dice. And these dice, now these dice don't look so bad. Yeah. So, this, so I, because honestly, from the, from the, the viewpoint that they gave me they look like sticker dice i'm like i just don't see a sticker dice game making a, a million dollars that's just not something i typically could imagine myself seeing you want cookies you want my cookies fine take my cookies i don't even know what that means all right oh and then you lead with the shut up and sit down review yep that's money that's money right there that is absolute money let's see hundred thousand views i'm gonna guess four hundred and fifty four thousand views and, and they're one of the few creators that moves the needle and that's one thing, you know, you got yourself a Richard Ham, you got yourself a Shut Up and Sit Down. Used to be, you got yourself a Dice Tower. I now think the Dice Tower previews have lost a lot of luster. Um, I just don't think people care about them. And this is this is just from people, what I hear in the chat, what I hear, because when I meet people at conventions, if you ever meet me at a convention, there's a very good chance I'm going to talk to you immediately about board games or what you've seen or what you think or what you, like, I just love picking people's brain, which is why, please leave comments down below, chat in the chat, because I love reading it all and I read every single one of them and I try to respond to every single one of them, but sometimes it's just weird to respond to things, you know, like where it's like, eh, I don't know how I respond to this, but I need to get better at it. And here's the key. You just say, thanks for commenting. That's it. That's the whole response. It took me nine years to figure that out, but damn it, I figured it out. All right, so once again, we're going to the shipping. Uh, so 130 bucks if you just want to get in the game. But who's coming here just for the game? Well, 97 people are. Uh, and now we're getting straight to the shipping. Wow. Wow. I like... Mm. So here's the deal. I don't like how this is put here. Because I don't want to just buy just that. I think... I would recommend having that $100 level and then I would have the $600 level and then I would have that $700 level or the $1,000 level, whatever the ridiculous one is. We're like, you know what? If Quinn said it's amazing, I think that's Quinn, uh, <laughs> then I need to get it. And then you drop all $1,100. I think you just, I would just have those there. Because I'm looking at this from the perspective of someone who literally is new to it and said, oh, I didn't like that video, but now this is the spot where you want to send me. Because do you want to go back and scroll up through all this stuff to, like, figure out what you missed? I don't. I don't know. I love the idea. I don't think they quite stuck the landing on the bottom of this area right here. I think there needs to be more here. Uh, shipping rate, U.S. 50. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. $15 flat rate shipping. That's what flat rate shipping means? Woo! chip theory games on point wow so i can get that 1100 dollars thing and get it for 15 dollars shipping 
well now how can i possibly turn down that kind of value uh uk 25 dollars does, does the VAT cover? This is what I need to know. This campaign, we're continuing the practice we started in 2019 by offering fixed rate shipping. No matter how much you buy in this campaign, no matter how much it weighs, you will get the same flat, affordable rate for your region. And oh my gosh, it just makes my heart so happy. The simplicity. Mwah. And I know some people, and you know what? I know some people are going to be like, but you get kind of jacked if you're only getting the one thing. And I can see that point of view. But I still think that this is just so clean and clear and simple that I just love it so much. I can't not love that simplicity. Customs friendly. Based on where you live in the world, there are two separate taxes related to shipping your game. The first is customs duty. Customs duty is levied by all... And here's one thing that I also want to give them huge shout out for. I see so many companies, and I think this is the industry standard, to mention all of this stuff before. And I like it when it's after. I like it when it's like, oh, this is great. $15. Now let's see what the rest of the fine print is. I don't like with the fine print first, I think. Let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. And I imagine that might vary depending on if you're in the U.S. or if you're somewhere else where you really most of the time need to focus on that fine print. Whereas me, I'm like, 15 bucks, I'm done. I'm in. I'm out. I don't need anything else. Uh, unless you're in Minnesota and Florida. Sucks to be you. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Not even Alaska. Normally it's Alaska and Hawaii who get the shaft. Now it's Minnesota and Florida. <laughs> I love it. The second is sales tax VAT. This tax varies from region to region, and we are required to collect these taxes in accordance with each country's laws. It will be collected in the pledge manager prior to campaign. Tax VAT information can be seen below. And wow, so this is clean and clear. The United States, this campaign will be continuing our partnership with Quartermass Logistics, and now this goes back to the Can You Do It, which, once again, I was not worried about it at all. Spend $1,100 on the entire game series and pay $15 for shipping? I mean, I don't want to lose money on this. <laughs> It's such a good deal on shipping. Canada, we'll be using Quartermaster. And so, yeah. Like, this is, like, if you are a first created, first backed sort of thing, just mentioning little things like this, I think, go a long way. So, cool. Shipping area, I uh, I, I got no issues with it. I love, I love the clean clear of it. 25 to Europe, 35 to Canada. Kind of sucks, but I assume, you know, you can get. All right. So, let's get to the comments, the FAQs, the updates, and get out of here. But once again, it's so weird in here because normally I'm looking at these from the perspective of you got to get people engaged. But now in GameFound, you don't have to get people engaged. I try to understand the add-on storage. It says all you need for the new stuff and have, uh, so what is this, most recent, yes. Is there a list of everything I should get if all I want is unbreakable, but want everything for it, including upgrades? Who's the translator for the base game in Spanish? Are these unanswered? 10:19. Oh no, this is time difference. Time difference. Okay. All new. Why does it? Because it's telling me 6:06 p.m. That's weird. All new content, 400 plus other shipping, not cheap, but fair amounting out the give. And there was the other thing. I will say by having an $1,100 level, and by having the $200 level, and then by having the $65 level, it all becomes a little bit confusing. So I actually want to reverse reverse, and we can do that so easily here, which I love. So this is if I want to get everything related to the to this new game. So the new game plus expansions. This is if I just want to get the new game minus the expansions. This is if I just want to get the old game. This is if I want to get get just the new game, but then I want to get all their future games. But just the base games, not the expansions, and I have to pay shipping. And oh my gosh, I will be so honest with you right now. I think if this was on Kickstarter with how many pledge levels they have and how it's organized, I think I would probably... I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I'd like it nearly as much as how they have it here. And then you can get all the add-ons... Looks like the regular price, $30, $30, $30. So, yeah, I, I imagine some people are going to complain about that. And I think that's what they were complaining about. The Trove Chest. I don't even know what the hell this is. What is this? Featuring for everything for the Too Many Bones universe, including future content. So, this is... Wow. Okay. I don't feel like that was marketed well enough, to be quite honest with you. Like, especially if I'm newer to this and I see that. I see this big... Like, really sexy looking way that I can have this on my shelf. Like, I think this is genius. I think more companies need to do this. The fact that there is not one of these for, say, Pandemic. 
you know, not the season, uh, pandemic seasons, but like just the pandemic. The fact that there's not one of these for, say, Catan or different games like that, that the companies put out, I think is a misstep. I think this, quite honestly, is the way of the future. And I think you're going to see some companies in the future do just stuff like that. All right. Let's go. Uh, and we already have some companies that do stuff just like that. I just, I kind of, wow. So, back to the comments. Add-ons, if I get the, uh, are they responding? That's what I'm looking for. So, yeah, we got creator response, creator response. They're getting in here. Seeing the blue rectangles, awesome. Excellent. That's what I'm looking for here. I'm looking for good customer service. Looks like just Shannon. Nope, then there's Dart. Awesome. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So, we're going to have some good customer service here, which is really why I always check the comments. Great. FAQ. Uh, will this FAQ fit the campaign, fit in the trove chest? It sure better. <laughs> yes, believe it or not, the huge amount of content in the Unbreakable game will fit in the trove chest, because we said it would. Will you translate this? Okay. Cool. Updates. Check it out. The Eve of Unbreakable. Oh, wow. So this, this I want to say is something very, very cool about GameFound. The fact that you can post updates before it launches i think is really cool you know getting people engaged helping people remember hey it's in one week and you got 166 people who are now probably going to go back day one uh learn about chip theories amazing flat rate shipping so this is just an update they're explaining a little bit more about the shipping to the day one people and i do love this because remember the day one people especially on kickstarter not so much in GameFound because GameFound doesn't really have much competition but on kickstarter that day one boom that just knocks you up to the very top you know every tuesday i always love checking every tuesday say who won who won tuesday night you go check you see who won who was doing the best and it might not always be in money you might be like oh this person actually has less money but they're higher that's because they're doing all those extra little things better and then you'll see like the huge rocket ships where they're doing everything beautifully uh but i love that and game found robs that for me <laughs> uh so then we so this is just pulled straight from over there but once again i like this you made my day thank you very much right there uh sorry but i'm understanding this as it says one flat rate doesn't matter how much it weighs but then it says for my pledge level usa 100 dollars in saving over actual shipping costs so what is the flat rate i'd really like to know before i get the all-in pledge uh and hopefully they answer that final grade you know this is this is obviously not a kickstarter critique so it's a little bit more wonky i don't have to worry about the competition so now i'm just looking at this from the perspective of someone new to the campaign am i convinced and no no i wasn't um because it's like you like i click on it and here's the thing and then you're like hey okay now buy it i'm not even buying the new game i'm buying the old game here and you're trying to sell the new game and so i think that's my biggest thing here is that as a new backer i'm not convinced by your video in any way shape or form and then when i say new to too many bones yeah i want to get in on this i go here and you're like oh hey go buy the old game <laughs> and you're like what the f what the hell i'm here for the new game i want to be a part of the new blood and it's like, I can't even get both those games. And now I know you can do it. You can do the add-ons. The add-ons are nice and neat. But it just doesn't feel like you're marketing to me, necessarily. Uh, so that's a nitpick there. Wow. So how do I look at this? Can you do it? Yes. No doubt in my mind. A+. plus. Do I want it? No. I mean, I'm just naturally interested because I know this is the hotness. I know people love it. I know people think it's amazing. But I can say the same thing about Spirit Island right now. You know, I've never played Spirit Island. I don't know anything about Spirit Island, but dang it, I want to play it one day. And if they come up with a Kickstarter video, and this was the Kickstarter video, I'd say, yeah, I'll get on it eventually. And I feel the same way about Too Many Bones. This video, this campaign, didn't get me like, yeah, I gotta check it out now. I, did, I just have to get on to that. It felt just so much more aimed at those older people. And then the older people, people who already existed, uh, or the people who are already there, does it convince you? And I have a hard time putting myself in that mindset. I'm not immediately wowed. But it's got $800,000. <laughs> so the answer to that is yes. They have the brand loyalty. I'm going to go with yes on that one. And then how much is it? That's where it gets weird. Because what is it? Uh, I got to scroll down, but I think it's what? $65 for the original, for just for the game. No, $85. 
And does this have the long scrolling component list? No. So I don't like this at all either. Because once again, <clears throat> what is this Kickstarter campaign for? This Kickstarter campaign is for this right here. <clears throat> Everything else, icing on the cake. Extra, and that's that's the weird thing I think about this expand this this whole game found right here. Uh, agreed. I felt like an outsider who was late to the party. Yeah, and that's not a fun feeling. I agree with Noah there. And then so I'm I'm like, all right, well maybe I'll just jump on this new game right here. It's eighty five dollars. I click on this, and I don't even get to see the components. Like let's see what let's see what oh wait. I feel like because I've seen other companies do that where they put the components here. And I think that's what you need to do. I do definitely do think that, that, yeah, I don't like this. I honestly don't like this section at all. So this is, and this is a very game found exclusive one because I've seen other companies who, if I recall correctly, put like a big scrolling sexy picture shot. I think it was that, uh, that magical game that came out. And I think they should do that. I really do. I think that would just make this section way more appealing. Or, because look, wow, you can even put videos down here. Oh my gosh, game found, you're so awesome. And I just can't wait to see more companies as they get more game found pro projects under their belt. Because it's just like Kickstarter. Most of the time, you look at a company's first Kickstarter, it's not nearly as good as their 10th Kickstarter because they just learn different little tips and tricks. And I think people are going to learn stuff like this because this is just so slick. But I'm done waxing about game found because that's not a game found thing. So too many bones unbreakable. Do I want it? Eh. Can you do it? Yes. No doubt in my mind. How much is it? $85. I didn't feel like I was convinced. Because once again, I didn't really like this long scrolling thing. I, and even if it would have just been wrapped up in the end and said, that's 126 chips, six dice trays, 7, 84 full-sided, double-sided cards with text. I just feel like they didn't do a great job of selling me the expansion. And so, oof, this is going to be a rough one. I think my final grade on this one is a C-. minus. Yeah. Because do I want it? I mean, that's the most important one. I don't know. Like, I already was interested in Too Many Bones. Like, I see, I've seen it set up. I'm like, oh, this looks really cool. I love the chips. I Hell, I want to play Hoplomachus. I love, I love the idea of their games. But I don't feel like this video really did it for me. Let me know in the comments below. What grade are you giving to Too Many Bones Unbreakable? And as always, if you enjoyed this content, please be sure to click on that subscribe button. I'm trying to reach 9,000 subscribers this year to celebrate my 9th anniversary of making YouTube content. And thanks for your time, YouTube. Bye-bye.